Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and this is what, 22015 Outer Drive. Normally, when we're at a data center, I can't tell you where we're at. I can't deal with legal to let me there, but uh, this is my friend Ali. He does lots of work for us, doing lots of cabling. I've got some videos I have to edit with uh, him out there, but we're gonna go look at a data center. Now, we're actually standing out back of it, so we're just in an alley, but this is how you know that this is a data center, not just because of this little address, which clearly has nothing on there, or the front of the building, which looks ominously empty. You, you can't tell what this building is when you pull up to it, can you? So low key. It's very low key. The only, the only hint you get, I don't know how to start before we go inside, is when you have a gigantic Cummins generator here. So yeah, this is behind this little building. <laughs> and for those of you who may have already paused the video and Googled the uh, aerial overview, you can see this from the sky. I love how big that switch is over there. <laughs> Don't worry, this is powered down. I can touch these things because uh, this place is not in use. It's actually vacant right now. Uh, I will mention here at the beginning of the video, there's no sponsorship or anything here, but uh, this is Ali and friends and I know them. If you're interested, there's a link down below if you're interested in uh, acquiring this empty building or leasing it or whatever. But we're gonna start with the demarcation. Now, normally, this would be so loud I couldn't record in here. And as I mentioned, usually there's a bunch of legal reasons because I've always asked, we go in a lot of data centers and I mean, what's the first rule, Ali? Turn off the phone? Turn off the phones. Where's Turn your off. phones? Where's your phones? Leave them at the front desk. Leave them in your pocket. You can't take pictures. There's a series of rules you have to go into. But yes, because sir. this is uh, gone, oh, they cut all the fiber too. Yeah. Oh, that's just... Yeah, those are the leads in. And then the main one, the dedicated circuit, it's still hung up there, whipped up there. Yeah, so the, the main circuit's still good. It's right there. So there's still the main circuit left, but they... Yeah. Uh, cut the fiber leading too. They cut the fiber leads for all the other parts. Look at this. This is... That's a travesty. <laughs> all right, so this is where the demarcation starts. This is where we have, actually, our first sets of UPS batteries. So, and us, this, this is all off. Look at the... There we go, there's all the UPS batteries and things like that. Once again, I love how big that is. <laughs> <laughs> now walking through, there's offices down there. So this building does have offices. Uh, here's a little maintenance server room. There's a little, what do we have here? Old foundry switch mounted. It's so weird to be in a data center like this when it's just quiet. Now. These centers are not built with a normal floor, so this may look like a floor. Can we move these, Ali? Yes. Give you a hint what's going on down here. There we go. Here's how the raised floors work in these. So this right here, not much light, so you can, but you can get an idea. This is so all the cable goes underneath. And then we're gonna go over to each of these and show you how they come through. So we're gonna open this up. And then you have, this is how the pull throughs come each at the bottom, kind of going through the racks. And here's an idea of how easy these panels just kind of pop up for each floor for rearrangement. This keeps it kind of minimal for we do have a ladder rack going across here that feeds some of these, that some of the fiber feeds, but this is how you would get to it. So if we wanted to move any of the racks around, this is that way we're gonna be able to get to it. Like this one doesn't have a pull through because these ones were fed by the trays that come up over the top. But these ones over here, as you can see, they got a little piece of foam in there. Whoops, that is now down there. <laughs> this is where the wires would uh, come through. That's where the plugs are for each of the racks. So when you're building out the data center, it's kind of different ways of looking at it. It's not like your normal where you're just gonna have everything come from the top. You generally like a lot of it with these floor mounted and raised floors for pulling this through. Now, the reason these boards are right here and right here, but that is normally what you would see there. These are the HVAC cooling systems that are gonna pull all the air. Because the one thing about having this many servers in one place is all that wattage that this place brings in turns into a whole lot of heat. So you have a system on this side that are paired and the other systems, well, when this system got decommissioned, this place got decommissioned at the time, uh, these sides were taken out. But you have redundancies for each one of these. So you see these different power supplies on each side, which, shoot, try and open it. 
And there's all the panel boards. Everything's in the off position. We already know this is powered down. Normally, I don't like to open these things, but it gives you an idea for how each of the racks are labeled and how each one of these would be able to say, hey, this goes to each one of these circuits. Oh, nice little label that they slide it in like that. Looks good. Then you have each one of the panel boards and any individuals here for the power. Now this is the main power delivery room. So this is UPSB, there's UPSA. This looks a lot older. I like this green, <laughs> green style, man. It's like from <laughs> forever ago. That's kind of cool too. I'm not gonna turn it because I don't know what it is. Or, it's not powered on, but I don't wanna cause any problems. 480 volt, we actually have on this one, I think it's 600 volts in. So these are each 480 volt. And then this system, we have 175 amp at 600 volts. 175 amp at 600 volts on this side. Then we have, this is what runs that generator uh, behind there. So we have the generator, which is in normal mode, available, emergency. I like that they have the instructions here, just in case you uh, want to do it. I'm not going to, I, I want to turn it, but I'll stop. I'll resist. And once again, nice little warnings that we have on here. One thing that's really cool is just all the different things they've abandoned here. We have, and I don't know if these are good or not. I'm not gonna put my tongue on that to find out because these are uh, 450 volt capacitors, man. That is, these are beefy. These are for the UPS. I don't know, they're all in the box here. They left, what else is some of the equipment they left? Is there anything cool to look at? I see the water system, which I think is still hooked up out front. That's not, it's always a little bit scary to see in a data center. Let's walk over to the front of the building. Yeah, this is where all the water pressure comes in for that. So once again, in case of fire, open door and pull. All right. <laughs> I want to touch everything. <laughs> it's just kind of neat. It's kind of neat to see all of this just kind of sitting here. And it's so yes. weird to be in here with everything just being quiet yeah. and silent. I mean, normally when I see this many racks here, you see, I almost see like headphones because there's this, this exactly. drumming on of all the fans and stuff like that. But this is pretty cool. This is a neat little place. I just wanted to do a little walk through, show you what one of these places look like. I'm, this is not the most modern data center. You know, we had another request we had. We tried really hard to show you guys a data center that was built brand new and a couple of years ago, has a flywheel instead of a UPS. Those are super neat data centers to see. And, uh, but unfortunately the legal just would not let us take pictures of it or do a video and talk. And we, we offered all kinds of promotion for the client, like just to let us do it. And uh, they turned us down, but it's kind of neat to see just how a lot of this gets built out and what happens when it leaves. This is a giant Cisco box too. AT&T Cisco box, Op Cisco optical network system. I'm still, I still think it's a shame they cut all these. Yeah. That's a, yeah. I Job mean, security. <laughs> yeah, they're like someone's gonna redo these. We're just we're just grabbing the snips. Yeah. And be like we're just we're cutting all the fiber yeah. in here. That's a shame. Except for the main one. That's a shame. I never found if they had that redundancy. I don't know. Oh, for the for extra the feeds on here. Yeah. yeah. It's still pretty cool to walk through here. UPS, the A batteries. But. That's all, I'm not gonna to touch any switches. I'll leave you all with that. This is just kind of a neat little data center tour and a little walkthrough. In case of emergency, 